What's up with the Charles Big Boss coming back with another video. We are talking about the fragrance concentrations. Okay, this video is for like the beginners that's in the store and don't know what an eau de parfum is, what an elixir is, what a parfum, what an eau de toilette, what an eau de cologne, what a fresh. I'm a money man. Draped in designer, I stay high fashion. Tissue bougie, no, I'm high maintenance. I do want to let y'all know that fragrance concentrations are not regulated. So that means whatever they put on a the bottle, they can literally be lying, okay? It's not regulated. They can do what the hell they want to do. So take everything I say with a grain of salt when you're going out there and going to pick up these fragrances. First fragrance I want to talk about is the soap concentration, okay? These are bars of soap and how much oils they usually put in soap products when y'all got like the little bars of soap or body washes and things like that, okay? Usually, they put 0.5 or 2% fragrance oil inside soap. Soap is like a subtle scent for like your personal hygiene, okay? The fragrance is usually mild and temporary, only lasts minutes, barely hours, okay? It never lasts hours. Soap does not last hours. We're talking about minutes. And I'm talking about 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. The next fragrance concentration is after shaves or au fresh, okay? Now there's a lot of fragrances that say au freshy. You know what I mean? You might be pronouncing it wrong. That's why I like when Americans came up with words like aftershave, because it's like, we can call it the aftershave concentration, but the people over there in Europe might call it the au fresh, but it's usually the same concentration and it has one to 3% fragrance oil. The au fresh usually translates to fresh water, okay? So it's always supposed to be real light, real fresh. These fragrances last up to about maybe two hours. That's usually all I get out of these fragrances. Don't last that long. That's why I get why we call it aftershave because usually we just putting on our little face and whatever before we run out the house and we don't need it lasting all day. But I remember back in the day when granddad used to use a whole bunch and it makes sense on why he used so much because it didn't last that long. So he needed half the bottle to kind of feel like he was smelling like something. And then we get into Eau de Cologne now. We don't really see this concentration that much. You might see it at a rack store or you might see it on some fragrances at Target or Walmart, okay? When you get in like the Duke Cannon fragrances or like that Target brand Goodfella collection. Now this traditional fragrance actually originated in Cologne, Germany, all right? Usually Eau de Cologne is usually like a light citrus fragrance, okay? You know what I mean? You usually not getting nothing rose or spicy and sweet with an Eau de Cologne, okay? The next fragrance concentration is the Eau de Toilette, kind of like this Dior Sauvage right here. Usually Eau de Toilette's got about like a five to 15 percent oil concentration, which means like if we're looking at this bottle right here, they only poured like 15 percent oil in here, then filled the rest of it with perfume, alcohol. Okay, so when you in the store and you getting this big ass bottle, understands you only getting about this much of fragrance and they mixing it with the oil. Are you getting played? Am I getting tricked? I really don't know because why y'all put so much oil, not a lot of scent. So basically what they trying to tell y'all is that this bottle retails for $180 around there and this is a 200 ml bottle, right? But if they are putting five to 15 percent alcohol in these older toilets that means if you took out all the alcohol right you would just have a real small little cap full of oil and i know you guys do not believe that a little cap full of oil that's probably this much matter of fact let's just do the math let's say that older toilets have 10 percent oil and we have a 200 ml bottle that means only 20 ml of this fragrance is real oil. I don't know if you can really visualize how much that is, so let me just show you. Each one of my sample bottles is eight ml, okay? And this bottle right here is 200 ml, okay? So that means about two and a half of these is how much oil they put in this entire bottle and they charging you $180. So would you spend $180? for these two little things right here? Yeah, I don't think so. That's why I buy fragrances from discounters or I buy fragrances that has a high concentration. 
so I can get my bang for the buck. I don't need all that perfume oil, bro. I wouldn't be mad if Dior came out with like a Sauvage oil and just let us put our own alcohol inside of it or not. All right, y'all, let's talk about the Eau de Parfum. That's how Jeremy Fragrance said. Eau de Parfum, whatever that is. Eau de Parfums usually have 15 to 20 percent fragrance oil they are usually richer and darker and more intense than the older toilets it's gonna last you about like eight hours maybe four to eight hours that's what i'll say four to eight hours eau de parfum that's how long these last now let's talk about the parfum okay now the parfum usually ranges from 20 to 40 percent concentration so if you see any bottles in the store and they say parfum you can kind of just roll the dice and guess from 20 to 40 how much oil they really put inside that scent and if that scent costs a lot and they saying it's a parfum it might have a high concentration if it don't cost that much and it's like oh the parfum then it don't have a high concentration and like i told y'all before these concentrations are not regulated so they honestly can be lying the whole time so they can be calling it a parfum but only putting eau de toilette amounts of oil inside that bottle so you know it's really nothing we can do about that because they gonna get money okay whether you like it or not capitalism at its finest they got to get the money okay right after the parfum you get a strack the parfum okay now a strack the parfum usually have 30 to 50 percent fragrance oil is one of the most purest concentration and it was the leading you know what i mean fragrance concentration when you wanted to say you had a whole bunch on but with this fragrance, you're going to get about like 12 hours with this scent. It's going to last you a lot of long time. I think you should enjoy it. Now, let's talk about the last concentration, the Divine Enigma concentration, which is Parfum Ultima. Now, that is a concentration that is synonymous and exclusive to my brand, Christopher Lee, and my brand only, okay? Like I keep trying to tell y'all, man, these scents are not regulated. So I promise myself that whether people think I'm lying or not, I'm going to really put 50% oil and then 50% fragrance alcohol inside these fragrances. And if anybody say I'm lying, they will go inside the comments and be like, no, it'd be hella alcohol in here. You never heard nobody say that about my scents. You know they oil you could damn near put them on as moisturizers because I put 50% fragrance oil in all my fragrances. But Parfum Ultimate is a fragrance concentration that ranges from 50 to 99% fragrance oil. This is literally the bridge, the pinnacle between fragrances and oils, okay? Oils are just oil, like cooking oil, olive oil, hair oil, oil, oil okay? But as soon as you start adding that perfume alcohol to it, the more alcohol you use, then the perfume, that's how all these concentrations was made. Parfum Ultimate is the best concentration. All right, y'all, that's all I wanted to let y'all know about everyday freshness, everyday concentrations from soap all the way to Perfume Ultima. I want to let y'all know that each concentration offers like a tailored experience just for that scent. I do want to let y'all know there is some toilets out there that are way stronger than Eau de Parfums. There are Eau de Colonias that's way stronger than Extractor Parfums, and that's because they're not regulated. And a lot of these companies sometimes don't know what the hell they're talking about. But with that being said, I hope you learned something. I left out all the intense fragrances because I don't really know what that means when they say Eau de Parfum intense. I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to keep it like that, all right? I love y'all so much. I'm Big Boss. Hopefully you learned something. Love y'all. And I'm out.